Hello everyone. Today is Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. At least 11 DR Congo rebels killed in Virungu Park. This article is taken from The Citizen. Regular Democratic Republic of Congo Army forces have killed at least 11 rebels of the so-called M23 group after chasing them down, excuse me, in the Virunga National Park famous for its endangered mountain gorillas, a local commander said Sunday. The soldiers killed the rebels in an ambush on Friday, four days after local sources said an attack left around 30 troops dead. Colonel Honore Rindugu, commander of a regiment based on DR Congo's border with Rwanda and Uganda, said the rebel death toll could be much higher. Rindugu said enemy communications intercepted by the army suggested around 30 rebels were missing. For now, according to our monitoring, there were 26 M23 rebels dead inside the park, said local civil society leader Damien Sebuzane. He said one government soldier was killed. The ambush followed an attack launched on Monday night in Nayesi uh, in North Kivu province near Virunga, some 50 kilometers, 30 miles north of the provincial capital Goma. Members of the local Red Cross said at least 32 soldiers were killed while the government spoke of several dead, including a colonel. During a memorial ceremony on Saturday, the military governor of the province, Lieutenant General Constant Dima, called for vengeance, adding, we will not give even a centimeter to the enemy. I remember that uh, from a, a, an article I, I covered a, a, a few days ago. The M23 is one of more than 120 armed groups which roam Eastern DR Congo, a legacy of regional wars more than two decades ago. Also known as the March 23 movement, it is a Congolese Tutsi group that was crushed in 2013 after launching a rebellion. So good news uh, that seems dozens of insurgents were killed in the Virungu, Virunga National Park. And I, I looked up what natural resources are are uh, uh, in that park in that area, and everything is there: gold. Uh, I think it's tungsten, uh, coal tan, cobalt. You, you name it, it's there. Uh, which would uh, I would assume have to do with them being in that that location, and I. I would assume that they they get their funding for their insurgency from illegal mining, but I don't know for sure. That's just a, a presumption of mine.